Who's here? dangerous animal on this planet. A violent creature filled with hateful thoughts and a lust for blood. Teeth like razors to suck the meat from your bone. Yes, when all is said and done, she is a killer. Aren't blue healer puppies so cute? Love. It's in my blood, it's in my blood to be loyal. You call my name, you call my name, I run to ya. When you kiss me, you make me bark. <laughs> Majestic. That'll do. Here. Good girl. In today's Dogs Are Awesome, we're going to talk about the Australian Cattle Dog, also known as a healer. Now these little badasses, they actually do come from Australia. In fact, they were created there using an old English sheep style dog and the local dingoes, which a farmer or a cattleman, I guess that's what you call them, a cattleman. I don't give a damn where you go in the country. I don't care what rodeo it is, what association it is. Every single cowgirl's got a blue healer that'll bite the piss out of you for no damn reason at all. My top five common dog breeds that I do not recommend you get for pets unless you really fucking know what you're doing. Absolute number one, the Australian cattle dog. That thing is literally built for bullying fucking things 20 times its size into submission. Unless you've got the skills, don't do it. The Border Collie, you ain't got that much. I told you long ago, on the road, I got what they waiting for. All roads nothing, dog, get your souls, tell them ain't laying low. I'm doomed. I just got out of the shower and look, the puppies are out! Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no, no, they escaped! No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh, no, no. I know, Renny, you don't like it, huh? So you think you want a cattle dog? Gross. Show your dog as a puppy versus now. If you have a mixed breed dog, stitch this and tell me they're mixed and then tell me what aspects of each breed they got. We'll go first. Just a refresher, here's Monty's mix. 
So for the cattle dog, Monty obviously has the coloring, and then I also think he has the intelligence and just kind of the edge that cattle dogs have. That goes for all the other herding breeds as well. For the lab, I think you can kind of see in his ears and his snout, but mostly it's just his demeanor around people. He loves people the same way a lab loves people. And he's starting to start to like water, but he's not much of a retriever. And then there's the elephant in the room or the basset hound in the room, and that's obviously in his short legs and how dense he is. This boy is almost 40 pounds. And then he definitely got the hound nose. He is sniffing everything, and he has very little handler focus, and he's very environmentally focused. That being said, if I have enough of a motivator, he learns tricks very fast, and I think that comes from the herding breeds. Pause up. He has some more energy requirements to other herding breeds, so I kind of feel bad because he's limited by his short little legs. Watch. Do you want to have a sleepover at Softa and Bapa's house? Papa's house? Okay, let's do it. Let's go see him. Soft and Papa. <laughs> In today's Dogs Are Awesome, we're going to talk about the Australian Cattle Dog, also known as a healer. Now these little badasses, they actually do come from Australia. In fact, they were created there using an old English sheep style dog and the local dingoes, which a farmer or a cattleman, I guess that's what you call them, a cattleman, had domesticated some dingoes, bred them with his old English style sheep dogs, creating what he was using as his work line dogs to herd and maneuver his cattle through the rough terrain. They originally were called Hall's Healers in the 1800s. Make no mistake about it, these are working dogs. They are tough, they are small, and they are compact. If you are interested in getting one of these and you have small children, you may want to get a puppy so that they can grow together. They will use their mouths to nip your heels to get you go in the direction that they want you to go in. So do not classify that as a bite. That's just them being a dog. Well, there is an Australian cattle dog. That's Mama Merlot's dog. And there is an Australian shepherd. That's one of mine with a tail, of course. So these dogs are a little too much dog for me. They need a job. These dogs will do a job, but they also make great pets. Arlo is very intense and he gets focused on things. In order to break the focus, he really needs to have a bond with you. So he's really good for his mom. He's really not good for anybody else. So the Australian cattle dogs slash Queensland healers have a lot of drive. My little shit eaters over here, they've got some drive. Um, but like I said, they also are good pets. They don't have to have a job 24 seven. The ranchers, the real ranchers, will actually call these dogs lazy. And there's nothing lazy about these guys. These guys were originally bred in Australia for cattle. These guys were originally bred in the United States for sheep. They were bred by Australian shepherds, the humans, and that's how they're called Australian. We are staying at his grandparents' house. This is how he greets them every morning. Get it? Hands in the air, top down with no ceiling, got no limits. Face time. 
time for a minute Be able to see that I own the property I ain't a tenant Yeah, if the roof is on fire Then we gon' make the house great Turn it, turn it up louder We gon' make the ground shake Ground shake, ground shake Ground shake, ground shake